I'm going to be doing this chest I picked up the other day. Um, it's pretty plain and flat, so I have some ideas to add some detail to the front here. Um, I'm going to be using Country Chic Paint again, and I've chosen the color Mermaid's Tail. Uh, it's a really pretty soft purple. I'm just going to spray down the piece. I'm going to use this Greenworks all-purpose cleaner. Give it a wipe down, and then we'll get to painting. Now on this piece, I'm not going to do the inside. Because it's a, it is a cedar chest. And I'm kind of thinking like kids' playroom, toy storage. It's large. But I don't think it's shiny enough to use the clear primer. All in one... The only one decor paint from Country Chic has a built-in primer, and I think that will do. This is just a light sheen. But look. Ew. And I've just got cardboard under the, the feet there. When I'm painting and protect my floors, these stitches in my hand have really put a kibosh in my painting because I can't get down to my paint room. So I have to paint upstairs in my living room. All right, quick wipe. There are some people dying out there saying, oh, look at that inlay, you're going to paint it. Yes, I'm sorry. I know it has a beautiful quality. Unfortunately, it just doesn't, it doesn't sell around here. So if I posted this like this and maybe just refreshed it, I wouldn't be able to sell it. So I have already given my paint a good shake and a stir. There's the color. We can see that. And now I only opened a sample. I think that I can get two coats on this with just a sample. So we're going to give that a try. And I'm really excited because I haven't eat, played with this color yet. They have We have 35 colors in the main line. And June 26th they're releasing a new line called the Lustro line. And there'll be 20 colors in that that will be permanent. So that's a total of 55 permanent lines. Plus they come out with two specialty Two specialty lines, I believe they include six colors twice a year. So lots of color options. So I'm gonna pop that up. Pop that up. <laughs> second birthday. Isn't that crazy? That's one thing I love is finding out the little stories behind some pieces. And can you just imagine the stories they would tell? You don't always get to know all the stories. 
you probably never get to know all the stories, but each piece has its own history. It came from a, a different place. I have just a little half of the sample of Mermaid's Tail. It's still to the boat here. The boat half, so I'm definitely going to get two coats on this and then maybe even have enough left for touch ups. But I'm going to let this dry for about 15 20 minutes before I put my next coat on. I believe they suggest you should wait a couple hours. I don't. Um, I just don't push as hard with my brush on the second coat. I go lightly, and that tends to work for me. That is off label use, but that's what I do. Great, right, it's time for a second coat. So I just store my paintbrushes in a bag in the fridge in between coats, and then I'll wash them when I'm done. And the paint are awful. Um, so I'm going to quickly throw on a second coat and we'll go from there. enough paint left in there I don't know if you can tell to do two coats on the back just in case it's out in the middle of a room so I'm gonna let that dry and I think we'll play with some molds okay so for the front of that chest it is really flat so I'm gonna use some of these molds and some modeling clay I just got at the dollar store also got a little bowl with some cornstarch in here I have never done this so I've watched lots of YouTube videos Usually I pour resin into the molds. I don't want to wait 24 hours. So I am going to start with, let's start with a flower. So from what I've seen, if you dust some cornstarch in here, I kind of like this rose the best. I'm gonna dust some cornstarch in here so that it comes away easier. Dollar store clay is really sticky, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. But we will find out together. So I'm just gonna push that all down in there.
Now, some people I've heard let it dry in there. I've heard some people say that it's harder to get out if you let it dry in there. I'm going to try taking it out right away because I think it'll dry faster. Let's just try separating it. I'm just trying to like roll it out of the mold so I don't crush all the detail. That's not bad. And then I've got some freezer paper over here. I'm just going to leave it to dry flat. And do another one. Okay, I'm back. Now I've done a few, I've got a couple in here. Here's the conclusion for me and what's working best. Heavy on the cornstarch. Do a couple before you start taking them out. I didn't let I didn't let them fully dry obviously, but I let them dry. These have been sitting in here for maybe three minutes. Um, and I just find just that little bit of dry time really helps. Um, let's see if I can put my money where my mouth is. <clears throat> so I still am just breaking the edges away. This one has a lot of detail so I may be and then I flip it upside down and I kind of roll the mold back. Help it a little bit along the way. And the cleaner the edge is around the back, I find the easier they come out. No leaves lost, no stem lost, perfect. I'm picking it up and transfer, I should probably do it on top of the freezer paper, but there we go. I can just lay it on the freezer paper to dry so that's flat. The nice thing is too, if you had a curved piece you wanted to do it on, I think that you could. Um, if you applied them now, maybe with a little wood glue on the back. it right around and it would dry. This rosebud might not work so well. Mm -hmm. I didn't lose any detail. Perfect. So there. That is my tip. Put the clay in. Make the back as clean as possible. 
leave it for a few minutes while you do a couple more. Separate it from the edges and then roll the mold off of the clay. Bam! There you go. All right, so some of my clay ones are dry and I have some, the clear ones are resin that I poured a while ago. So I think this is the pattern I'm gonna do on the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the wood glue. I use Gorilla Wood Glue, I'll attach them, and then just use some painter's tape to hold it in place. I also wanted to just show you, this has only been drying for maybe six hours, and I am scratching that with my fingernail and it's not going anywhere. might be one of my new favorite products. Redesigned a core wax. Diamond dust. And this is 1.69 ounces. There's a lot of product in that. Look at the shimmer. And here are the glamour shots. Thank you guys so much for following along. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see and tune in next Friday for another furniture flip. You can find all the products I used today at retrofarmhouse.ca. Bye.